spooky. That is better. It really is better. Welcome back to another reputized video. Pet Cemetery came out in 1989. Was directed by Mary Lambert and stars Dale Midkiff and Denise Crosby. After moving to a small town in Ludlow, Maine, a horrible tragedy occurs. A grieving father discovers an ancient Indian burial ground. Behind his home are the power to raise the dead. This is, of course, a film based off of a Stephen King novel and is the only one that he actually wrote that actually scared him. Like most writers does, a lot of the elements in this film actually took place in his own life. He has a daughter, and his daughter had a cat, just like the daughter in this movie had. Got run over by a truck, and they lived in the same countryside that this family lived in in this film. A lot of this inspiration from this story did come from his life. The feel was really dark, it was mysterious, it was surreal and campy, but at the same time, really scary. It scares you to death to the point to where you have nightmares for life. Well, not for life, but for days. Dale Midkiff's portrayal as the father, Lewis Creed, was done very well. I thought he gave a really excellent performance. You could feel his pain and sorrow during the second act. No! At first they were going to get Evil Dead's Bruce Campbell for the role, but I don't think that would have gone as well. No offense to Bruce Campbell, I think he's a wonderful actor. I loved him in the Evil Dead films. I don't think this part would have been the right choice for him. Denise Crosby as Rachel Creed was okay. She gave a solid performance, yet it was a little watered down. Her personality was a little stale, but at the same time, she actually showed her true acting abilities and it was really good. <laughs> something, Mommy. I'm glad to something, Mommy. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, and you got Herman Munster, oh, I'm sorry, Fred Gwynn, who plays Judd, the across-the-street neighbor. He's like the guy who knows everything that goes around, even the stuff that people don't talk about. Well, sometimes that is better. I thought he gave a really good performance. I was a fan of the Munsters when I was growing up, so as soon as he showed up, even with all that makeup that he wore in the Munster series, I knew who he was. I knew I could spot him right away. I thought he did an amazing job. Rest in peace, man. The kids, you know, they did a really good job, too. Peter Stein's cinematography and lighting was done really well. The color had that softness to it that it made it really easy for you to see. And the colors had that rich modulation to it. It looked really beautiful and there was a sunset scene where it was just crystal clear and even though it dealt with horror elements, and it, it was a really beautiful lighting. Elliot Goldenthal's score was excellent. It was instrumental. It had a hard, lot of horror elements. When a scene would start and something scary was about to go down, you'd know because of the score. And it, it was done really per just perfect. Mary Lambert's direction was solid. I liked the way that she was going with this. The only negatives I have is the maid. I just felt like they threw her in just for the heck of it. Hi, Missy. I'll do these out. Bring them back next time, Mrs. Creed. Great. Can you come on Monday, Missy? <laughs> I didn't really feel like she served a purpose, and before you knew it, her character was just written out, like, quick. I felt like if you'd have done this movie without her, it wouldn't have made any difference. And the Death Omen, I think that's what you call him, the ghost that comes to warn the father not to cross the seal past the pet cemetery. At first, he was intimidating. No matter how much you may feel you have to, do not go on to the place 
where the dead walk. I don't think they were trying to go that way the whole way through this with this character but by the third act it got a little campy and really cheesy and like the way he would perceive his character just kind of took me out of the film but you know all in all I think very highly of this film Pet Cemetery 1989 gets an A-. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share. What did you think of Pet Cemetery 1989? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews. Pet Cemetery, the new one, should be up by this weekend. And stay tuned also for Shazam as well. Peace, wrap out.